Is your Gmail inbox a complete mess and do you just let your emails flow without properly organizing anything? Well, I'm not gonna lie, this sounds like me for some of my email inboxes that I've neglected. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I set up my primary Gmail inboxes so that you can do this too and have a clean, simple, and organized Gmail inbox. And after this video, you're gonna feel at ease and on top of all your inboxes and emails. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into my simple tips for managing your Gmail inbox, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into my Gmail inbox. <music> Okay, so we're gonna talk about three aspects to better managing your Gmail inbox. We're gonna talk about key tips for cleaning, maintaining, and organizing your email inbox. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside one of my test Gmail accounts. Now, the first thing we wanna look at is cleaning your email inbox. And to do that, we need to start deleting our emails that we don't want. And there's a few ways that you can properly delete your emails within your Gmail inbox. First up, we can bulk delete emails. To do that, simply navigate over to the left hand side, click select, and that's gonna select all the 50 conversations on this first page in your inbox, or you can choose to select all 254, all conversations in your primary email. And to delete all your emails, all you would do is simply click here, and then navigate up to delete. Again, this is if you want to delete all your emails that have come into your inbox. Okay, so I'm going to navigate over to clear selection. Now we can also delete conversations coming from a specific email. To do that, simply navigate up to search mail and simply locate and add in the email that you want to find all the conversations for. Then simply navigate over to filter and then come down and click on search. And as you can see, you want to make sure that you have from selected. And that's going to generate all the emails within your inbox that are from this email address here. Then to delete these emails, all you need to do is simply navigate over to select and then go ahead and click on the spin option to delete all those emails. Now let's navigate back to our email inbox. And one of the better ways to manage and delete specific emails within your inbox is to set up an update inbox. To do that, simply navigate over to settings on the far right hand side, then come down and click on see all settings. Then navigate over to inbox, then come down and select updates. So this is next to categories, make sure updates is selected, and then navigate down the page and locate save changes. Now what we can do is navigate over to updates, and within the updates inbox, you'll automatically get emails generated from companies in terms of recent updates, notifications, reminders, these could be statements or bills, or even newsletters coming from companies. Basically unimportant emails will end up in your updates. So if we navigate back over to our primary, Rather than having over 200 emails in our primary inbox, we now only have 57. And these are identified as important emails. So what we're gonna do is head back to our updates inbox. And again, these are unimportant emails that we can go through and delete if we like. An easy way to do that is, for example, if we navigate over to TikTok for business, let's say I'm no longer using TikTok and I wanna delete all the updates coming from TikTok. All I would do is right click, and then navigate down the page and locate find emails from TikTok for business. And that's gonna generate all these TikTok emails. Again, we can navigate up here, select all, and then go ahead and delete that selection, all the emails coming from TikTok for business. Now, any of these emails that you've deleted, you can locate in the bin. Now, if we click on bin, it's important to note that all messages that have been moved into the bin will be deleted automatically after 30 days. And you can also navigate over here and empty the bin now if you like. Okay, so what we're gonna do is head back to our primary inbox and then navigate back over to updates. And we can go through that process of looking at different companies that are sending emails. And if they're not important, we can again go through that process of right clicking, navigating down and selecting find emails from this company and then going ahead and deleting those emails if they're not important. Now you can keep this tab up if you like, or you can navigate back over to settings and you can untick the updates category if you like. But for me, I like to keep the updates inbox within my Gmail account. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to primary 
And now how can we continue maintaining our inbox with spammy emails that keep getting sent into our inbox? Well, what we can do is navigate up to search mail and type in unsubscribe, then navigate over to filters and we want to include the word unsubscribe, then come down and click on create filter. And in here we can choose specific options when an email matches the exact search criteria. I'm going to navigate down and click on delete it and then come down and click on create filter. And now when any email spam newsletters come into my account, they will be automatically deleted. Now, if there's newsletters that you want to continue following, there might be one, two or three, and you know exactly the emails that they're coming from, then you can change that filter and make sure emails are still coming into your primary email from those specific email addresses. And to manage your filters, all you need to do is navigate up to settings, then come down to see all settings and then click on filters and blocked addresses. And down here you can see the filters that we have created. We've only created one, the unsubscribe filter. We can navigate over here and we can edit or we can delete. I'm going to go ahead and click edit and then I can make changes to that filter. So I'm going to exit out of that. Okay, so if we head back to our inbox, we now want to focus on our primary email inbox. These are the emails that are important to us. What we want to do is start creating labels. So for example, Stuart Gould, he sends out a newsletter every week. That's myself. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I am saving Stuart Gould's email newsletters. Now labels are great because it allows you to manage your inbox. Think about labels as organized locations for your important emails. So to do that, I'm going to either navigate down here to create a label, or I can simply click on this email here and then navigate up to labels and then come down and create a new label. And I'm going to type in business newsletters and then come down and click on create. Now we can navigate over to the label that we just created and click on these three dots and we can come down and change the label color. I'm going to go ahead and change that to green. And as you can see, this email here is now labeled as a business newsletter, our new label here. Now we can also navigate down and let's say there's another email from Stuart. I can either search for Stuart Gould. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to type in Stuart. Then for example, what I can do is I can click on this label. I can drag and I can drop that onto an email conversation. And that's going to add that label to that email. I can also navigate over here to add a new label. I'm going to add monday.com and then come down and click on create. Now I'm going to exit out of this search and then navigate over to inbox and then search for Monday. And then for example, what I can do is click on each of these Monday emails and then I can navigate up to label and then come down and select Monday and then apply. I'm also going to navigate over here and change the color to yellow. And as you can see, those four emails have been labeled as a Monday label. Now labels are great because it allows you to manage your inbox. Think about labels as organized locations for your important emails. Okay, so what you want to do is take the time to navigate through your primary inbox, go through the process of deleting emails that are not important, set up the right filters like unsubscribe, and then continue managing and better organizing your inbox by leveraging labels. Now, just quickly, you can also add sub labels to further manage your labels. For example, if we click up here and click create new label, I'm going to add Monday newsletter and then click on nest label under and then choose the parent label, which in our case will be monday.com and then click on create. And as you can see, there is now a sub label under this Monday primary label. And as you can see, you now know how to clean up your email inbox, manage your incoming emails through filters and better organize all your email conversations by leveraging labels. And those are my fundamental tips to better managing your Gmail inbox in 2023. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief video helping you manage your Gmail inbox like a pro. Now if you have any questions about this video make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.